unionist politicians have ganged up on the SNP branding them disrespectful after they formally declared a Scottish independence referendum will take place in 2021. Ian Blackford, the SNP's Westminster leader said the party would have a platform to hold Indira too quickly if they won the Scottish Parliament elections in May. In an interview ahead of the SNP conference, the MP for Ross, Skye and Lockaber said the party should focus on the Holyrood vote first but stressed independence on the cards next year. In an official confirmation on the matter, Mr Blackford said, we need to demonstrably show that the people of Scotland are determined that they will have their say and in the first case, we have to win this election for the people of Scotland. To be able to be respectful to those who are not currently with us that were appealing to join us, about that denial of democracy that is currently taking place and to affirm that it is the sovereign right of the people of Scotland to determine their own future, and come what may, we will prevail. That referendum will take place and we need to plan that that referendum must take place in 2021. He stressed to the Sunday national newspaper the coronavirus pandemic had led to the vote being delayed. He continued, COVID has come along and the Scottish government in particular, has had to take its responsibilities of stewarding the country through this crisis. So we've had to, from a tactical point of view, put off holding a referendum in 2020 and I apologise that that was the case. Scottish Conservative leader Douglas Ross branded Ian Blackford's comments as deeply disrespectful. The Moray MP said, Ian Blackford's commitment to a referendum a few months from now is not just irresponsible but delusional and shows how out of touch the SNP are. The Scottish Conservatives are focusing on fighting the pandemic and rebuilding the economy. That is what people want and expect. He added, the fact he feels the need to apologise for not staging a referendum this year as thousands of lives in Scotland have been lost and families continue to mourn is deeply disrespectful but also telling about the SNP's obsession with independence over everything else. Alex Rowley, Scottish Labour MSP for Mid-Scotland and Fife said, it is just ludicrous in the midst of a public health crisis and economic meltdown to be talking about holding an independence referendum.